Hi, we're here with Lily Knowles, VP of Marketing for Vizio. So Lily, obviously massively changing world in terms of marketing, completely different it seems even just from three years ago. You know, as VP of Marketing for Vizio, tell me a little bit about your content creation. It's changed a lot in the last few years and I think for us as a TV company it's changed because the patterns of content consumption have changed. Ultimately as a brand marketer there is a limit to the three basic tenets, which is time, money, and people. So there's only so much you can produce within the laws of physics of what you have. That said, when we look at all the different audiences, we do look for commonalities between them. And so we really spend a lot of time understanding the psychographics of who wants to buy a TV and for what purpose. And we try to find those common threads so that we can produce the content that's going to be applicable to different folks. There are different messages um, and different ways that we can promote our content on social that's actually become very effective in helping folks who are in market and we can really understand them and we have great data to understand where they're at in that journey and be able to help push them over the edge to, to go buy. How much are you losing, using social listening to uh, kind of hear about why people are buying TVs, when people are buying TVs, and how are using that social listening yeah. data to then direct both your creative and possibly your media. Yeah, that's super important. We monitor that really daily, but we, we output it on a weekly basis. And we're looking at that. We're understanding not only their sentiment, but the threads and really the topics of what they're looking into. What's important to us is to understand what are those topics or um, sort of conversations that are trending significantly, mm -hmm. um, such that we want to make sure we're out there addressing it and do, doing, giving a response or, or help to prod that along. Can you give me a, a, a sense of, of how you're using influencer marketing and then maybe talk about a campaign that you've been particularly proud of? We did a campaign um, a couple of years ago with Blake Griffin, which was purely a um, opportunity to where we saw um, Blake obviously beloved NBA star, sure. has a great audience. He was a genuine fan of the brand. Mm -hmm. We saw it as an opportunity to drive brand um, sort of crossover between his followers and ours. And that was a case where we really worked with him, th with our agency, to allow him to be part of the creative process. And that's where Slam Dunk Poetry came out, and that was really a great success. And then we ran something else with another influencer who did an unboxing. The unboxing blew it away. Uh -huh. So from a standpoint of objectives of launching this new product line and moving people into coming to the site and learning more and purchasing. When someone's really in that lower funnel stage and they just want to know more about a product, don't overthink it. Right. Just keep it simple right. and give, give the shopper, give the fan what they want.